I see the comment section every single day. And every single day I see the, the debate about Adrian Smith. Is he the right quarterback or not? Some people say, yo, he's undefeated as a starter. Other people say he throws too many interceptions. Now, yes, of course, I'm the one controlling him. But if he does throw too many interceptions, then he will be benched. However, he is undefeated as a starter. He beat Florida State, number one Florida State. You know what I mean? He was the quarterback. Now, a lot of you may say he might have been the quarterback, but was he truly the reason? Okay, maybe he wasn't the reason. So maybe he just needs to do something to prove the doubters wrong. Maybe he just has to do something to make people believe that when SAU gets in a sticky situation, he could be that guy. Now, as far as the running back position goes, I know a lot of people want to see Richie Thompson. Y'all love his speed. I love his speed. But if you notice, throughout the history of this dynasty, he does not break tackles. For me, I need my running back to make that spectacular play. I need my running back to make the play that nobody else can, like David Watt. David Carter, Chris Cooper, you know what I mean? So again, if these guys continue to struggle, then of course we have to change things up, man. Now you see his numbers, two TDs, three INTs, 11 for 23. Now the 11 for 23, that's not bad in NCAA 06 on highs and difficulty. The two TDs, three INTs, that is pretty bad. So if he continues to struggle, we will move to a different quarterback. However, it won't be the Elite 11 quarterback because he's registering this year. So anyways, let's get into the gameplay. You know I'm looking for my defense to make big plays. And this one we're taking on our rival in Texas A&M. Taking a shot deep to the end zone. But you know my boys like, get that thing up out here. Vincent and Schultz, they combine on that swap. Then they go to the flat and my man John Key is there. He's going to shut that down. We get the ball to Hargrove. Our growth goes nowhere. We get the ball to Richie Thompson, and his speed is going to carry him to a first down move. Those chains for the SAU Bulls. Go right back to Hargrove. Whoop! Makes a man miss. Gets a field. Picks up a first down move. Those chains for the Bulls again. Now Smith dropping back to pass. Taking a shot up top. And that's going to be an interception. Now I'm not going to lie. After that interception, I was mad because you see who's hurt. And that's Chad Johnson. Don't worry. He'll come back. He just got the win knocked out of him. However, he made me scared to throw the football. I'm not going to lie. Adrian Smith made me scared to throw the football for the rest of the first quarter. As you see my defense stepping up, getting that thing about here. What are you doing? Third and nine, drop back the pass. Rodin with time, taking the shot deep. And Rodin connects to Russell. Touchdown, Texas. A&M and those Aggies strike first. Now we get the ball to Hargrove, who puts it on the turf. Our defense, they come back on the field. First and 10 from the 18 yard line. Rolling, looking. Get dropped back to pass. Get that thing up out of here. Our defense is playing well. I think this might be the best. Our secondary has looked in a long while. They go to the flat to Dennis, and he gets dropped at about the 8 yard line. Not, they're going to call it the 9 yard line. And on third and one, look at this strike in between three defenders. And yes, this might be the best. Our secondary is looking, but our secondary still gets beat deep like it's nobody's business. First then 10, Richie Thompson has one man to beat to get to the outside. He can't do it. So bring in Brian. Who? Brian. That's right. Bring in Seth Brian. Not Hargrove. Not Richie Thompson. We got to bring in Seth Brian. And look at this young man do work. Woo! Makes a man miss. Gets a build and picks up a big first down move. Those chains for the SAU Bulls. Second and 10. We go back to the passing game and it gets dropped. So again, just a tad bit nervous. We're down by 14 though. We don't have time to be nervous. Taking a shot deep to Chad. And that pass gets batted away. Nearly intercepted. And we have to get the ball right back to Texas A&M. So they're looking to put us in a huge deficit. Not now, but right now. So you know we can't allow that. Third and eight. Roden dropping back the pass. Going in between two defenders. That's going to be caught by Williams. His third catch for 68 yards so far in this one. Now Roden going over the middle again to Graves, the cornerback. He's lined up at receiver. He goes both ways like Deion. And he's going to make a big time catch. Move those chains. First and ten for the Aggies. Now it's third and five. Roden is looking. Get that thing up out of there. That should have been in such a by Foster. But it didn't happen that way. So we're down 21 to nothing. So when the offense gets back on the field, this is not the time to play favorites. We have got to score. We're down 21 to nothing. I thought 
about this. Well, it's championship or bust, right? We don't get to that BCS title game. It is a bad season. So first then 10. Smith going over the middle going to find Cole. Move those chains for the SAU Bulls. Now Seth Bryant with another carry. Gets up to the 50. Getting cut back but gets dropped at about the 45 yard. And that's going to pick up another first down for the SAU Bulls. Now Smith rolling out and he's going to chuck this one deep. Touchdown, Ryan Ross, the big boss. Showing that he's a deep threat. So we, you know we have to get him the ball more often. Check out this pass and basically triple coverage. Beat those guys like they stole something. Let's go. Second and 10, our defense is back on the field. Roden, he's going to drop back to pass. And Foster makes up for that it, for that lack of an interception on the last defensive play. But he gets that one right there. And now we are back in business at our own, at their five-yard line. Going to set up first and go check out the replay. You see number 22 reading the eyes of the quarterback. Gets over there for the INT. So now it's first and go. Going to get the ball. Richard Thompson. And he goes nowhere. Second to go from the nine yard line. We get the ball to Richie Thompson. Gonna cut back, but he gets smacked by two Aggie defenders. Third and goal. Time to head to the end zone, man. Smith looking. Going to Cole, who drops another one. So we would have to settle for a field goal. Gonna make it 21 to 10. You know I love my defense. I believe in this defense, and I believe in my man Bonner again. This is running back you, linebacker you. All we do is create big time players at those positions. Bonner with the Yahoo! Zay, her. And we got this thing going back the other way. Seth Bryant gonna cut this one back. Gets up to the 20, breaks a tackle, and picks up another first down five carries for 57 yards. Smith going to the end zone to Chad Johnson, a.k.a. the All-American, a.k.a. the Mackey Award winner, a.k.a. the best tight end in the country. Beautiful pass right there by Smith. Tell you, Adrian Smith, man, he has that it factor. He has that it factor. Going over the middle again, Williams is going to make that play, and that's going to be a first down for the Aggies. So down by four. Hope we can get another stop on defense and a huge hit by James. Oh, my. Gosh, now they're gonna drop in the pass one more time over the outstretched hands of Bonner. Gray is gonna make that catch. He's gonna pick up yet another first down. First and 10. They do a play action pass. Gonna take a shot deep to Russell. And that's gonna be a touchdown for Texas AM. My goodness. So now we're down by left. Gotta get the ball to Richie Thompson. Using his speed. Gets up to the 30. Cuts back. He's gonna get dropped at about the 35 yard line. Second and 10. Gonna go with Seth Bryant. Seth Bryant. I'm I like this. Game. I like Seth Bryant. Look at the number. Seven carries. Seven yards. Richie Thompson not even over 50 yards yet. I'm just saying. Smith, I mean Seth, excuse me, with another carry. And Seth picks up a gain of nine. Eight carries for 80 yards. Smith looking. Smith over the middle of the cold makes a fantastic reception to pick up the first down. Beautiful pass right there by Smith. And now we have this thing deep in the Aggies territory. 20 23 yard line. Smith looking. Smith's gonna roll out. He gonna stop. He gonna pop. Gonna find Chad Johnson. Boost those chains again. But check out my man Hargrove. Picking up the defensive end. He's showing some heart. I must say, he's showing some heart. So anyways, drop back the pass, going up top to Chad Johnson. A beautiful pass, a better catch. Touchdown, SAU Bulls. And yes, y'all sure already know it's coming because my man Hargrove is in there picking up big old defense alignment. You know he has earned some hard carries, but if he continues to struggle, continues to fumble, he won't be getting nothing no more for me. Anyways, Hargrove breaks a tackle, steps out of bounds. Huh, that's not gonna work, man. So we're gonna drop back the pass, looking to go deep to my man Chad Johnson. He's a beast. He's a beast, man. The best player on our team. I believe he's 94, 93, 95, something like that overall. And we go up top to Ross. Ryan Ross is like, coach, you should have been doing this all year, man. You should have been doing this last year. I'm like, I, I, I see you. I see you, Ryan Ross. I, all right. Anyways, we got to get that man the ball just a little bit more often. It is first and go. We get the ball to Hargrove. He can't get away from the cornerback. We get the ball to Richie Thompson. He can't get away from the linebacker. So now it's third and goal from the five-yard line. Smith going over the middle. Going to find Chad Johnson in between not one but two defenders. And that is going to be a big-time catch for another touchdown. His third touchdown catch of the ball game. Adrian Smith is thrown four. We tell me another quarterback in SAU history that has dropped back and throw four touchdowns in a big game. Not 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 versus, you know, like Duke or anything like that. But like taking on our rival. 
I'm just saying, man. Anyway, Foster, he recovered the fumble, and now it is time to put our foot on the throat of the Aggies. We get the ball to Richie Thompson. Richie Thompson cuts up field, trying to get away from man, but he's going to get dropped out about the 25 yard line. Move those chains for the Bulls. Richie Thompson headed to the end zone, using that speed like a NASCAR to cross the finish line. So even though the running game is struggling, we still trust it. And Richie Thompson is showing that maybe, just maybe, he should be the starter. So y'all let me know who should start next week's game versus LSU. Should it be my man Seth Bryant? I'm liking him. I'm telling you guys, I'm liking him. Or should it be Richie Thompson? Hargrove, he's in the doghouse, man. He is in the doghouse real bad. Third and ten, dropping back the pass, looking over the middle. But get, get, get that thing about here. So we take back over oh, Richie Thompson, he's a tailback. We get the ball to whoop, makes a man miss it. Takes a huge hit, but he hangs on to the football. Hargrove is in the ball game just to block. We're gonna go up top to Chad. Do you see AJ Smith throwing these dots? I know y'all do, so stop hating on him. He undefeated, okay? He undefeated. Smith looking, Smith on a roll out. Smith on a fine lane who makes the catch, man. I'm, it's something about Smith. It's something about Smith, man. Yeah. It's something about, it's not something about Mary, it's something about Smith, man. So there we go, another big time catch, and we have this thing deep in the Aggies territory again. And Seth Bryant headed to the end zone, touch down, bull. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know who should start. First and 10 for the 28 yard line for the Aggies, shotgun set, dropping back the pass, rolling on out. Give me that Yahoo! Zay, hurt. Say, give me that, yo, give me that user interception, and we got this thing going back the other way. Hargrove, he's gonna get the carry again. He's gonna get upfield, make a man miss, but puts it on the turf, and now you are deaf. You are not even in the doghouse, my man. Hargrove, you are underneath the house. You are underneath the doghouse, man. That is unbelievable. Maybe the pressure of replacing Chris Cooper is getting to him. So you already know, Richie Thompson or, or Seth. Or Seth Bryant, man. Schultz, he's going to come right back. Get us the ball right back with the INT on the very next play. Big time play by him. He needs to calm down. He, he trying to cost us 15 right here. What are you doing here, man? First step, 10. We got to get the ball to Seth Bryant. Whoop, makes the man miss. Headed to the end zone. And those are the things. Those are the things that Richie Thompson can do. I love me some Richie Thompson. I really do, man. But he does not make people miss in the open field. He does not break tackles. That's what I'm looking for for a running back. But again, like I said, you guys choose who starts next week. Y'all choose. We give the ball right back to Hargrove. Don't put it on the turf. And he puts it on the turf, man. <sighs> Hargrove, Hargrove, Hargrove. I'm trying to give him chances too, man. I'm trying to give him chances. But that's his third fumble of the ball game, okay? I'm trying to be a good coach, give him chances. But nah, man. He is not even underneath the doghouse. He is buried six feet under the, under the doghouse. My gosh. Smith rolling on out. Smith going to try and stop and pop, but that pass gets batted in the air, and then it hits the ground. So up five, we're, we're, we're up big, 52 to 28. We came back in a strong way. My man Bonham with the stop right there. Second and 15 from the 36. Jolene drop back to pass. Butler is now in the ball game. They go to the flat, and Bonham is there for another stop. Letting everybody know why he is the best linebacker in the country. No, I love my boys, man. I'm going to rep them. I'm going to let everybody know that they're the best. Anyways, man, Butler looking, throwing, get that thing out of here. The boo boards, yeah, boo them, boo them, because they suck. Give the ball to Seth Bryant one more time, just trying to run out the clock, and again, y'all tell me if y'all seen Richard Thompson make people miss like that. I mean, maybe it's my fault. Maybe I should have been starting him, right? Well, he registered last year. So again, I've only had him for technically two games, and now I found a diamond in a rough again. This is what we do, man. This is what we do at SAU. We find the players that don't nobody else want, and we turn them in the champions. David Carter, he transferred, turned him into one of the best running backs in the country. Then my man David Wise, he transferred, turned him into one of the best running backs in the country. We found Chris Cooper. Chris Cooper, he was better than the guy that was the number one running back coming out of high school when he was number two. I'm just saying, man. Have some faith in what we're doing at SAU. Now, again, I hear you guys. Hargrove maybe wasn't the answer. You guys are looking forward to seeing Richard Thompson. Richard Thompson is nice. I'm not going to lie. Richard Thompson is nice. But I'm leaning towards Seth Bryant. 
61205, man. He's never done me wrong. And maybe that's my problem when it comes to Richie Thompson. He's done me wrong in the past. His freshman year, I can't get out of my head. But you know what? It is what it is. Hargrove, he's in the doghouse even worse than than, than him. Like, really, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Chad Johnson, the All-American. He's a flat-out beast. Six catches, 80 yards. Our defense did work. Our defense made stops when we had to have them. We gave up, what, 28 points, I believe, all in the first half. And that second half, our defense slammed the door shut. Big ups to them. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I enjoy bringing it to you. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see you all later. Peace. Hot sauce.